By many people's standards, the College of Worcester women's lacrosse team has exceeded expectations in 2010. But despite losing six starting seniors to graduation and being overlooked in preseason polls, the Scots don't seem quite as surprised by their success as their critics. Just trying to keep it as positive and as fun as possible and make sure that the players knew that we still had high expectations, that we never consider ourselves to have a rebuilding year. Led by head coach Liz Ford and a talented mix of youth and experience, Worcester shook off some early season rust to win 11 of its last 12 games, including its second consecutive and sixth North Coast Athletic Conference Championship since 2002. When we won, it was, it's, I've never been so happy and it's the best feeling and I think it just helps so much because we deserve it. You know, like everyone has worked so hard. I've never worked this hard in my life. We knew a lot of people would have to step up, I mean, me including, because um, we did lose a lot of great seniors, but our team dynamic is you work hard and you, you play hard and you have fun. And even though we lost a lot of girls, we knew we would still be doing that. By winning the NCAC championship, the Scots have secured a spot in the NCAA tournament for the sixth time in program history. However, one thing that has eluded Worcester is a win in first round action. And going into NCAAs, it's, it's beyond anything we could have imagined before season and right now we just we deserve to be where we are. Win or lose at the NCAAs, Worcester didn't spend the season rebuilding, but rather reloading and reestablishing its top billing in the conference. But to say the Scots are satisfied would be far from the truth. We want to win. We want to make Worcester history. We want to, I mean, especially this year because no one thought we were going to be this far. For Worcester Athletics, I'm Nick Stroud.